We're here with Bob Mitchell, the president of Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership, and you have done so much with NASA over these last several months because obviously this budget that first came to us just put everybody into really a clench. I mean, everyone is trying to look at what is going to happen to me and my job, and you actually got a little hint of good news yesterday. Tell me about that. Well, first of all, it was a lot of people that's been involved in this in the very beginning since February. But yeah, we did get good, good news yesterday. Uh, the Senate came out with their appropriation or reauthorization bill that, that clearly helps jo the Johnson Space Center. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, we're still going to have layoffs, but it's going to help us tremendously. It will be nothing in the neighborhood of 7,000. could be, oh, you know, in the neighborhood of about 1,000. Keep in mind that we knew we were going to lose 700 to 1,000 when we lost the shuttle. So we're still going to see layoffs, but this really maintains the Johnson Space Center as a leader in human space exploration. I think it's important for people to know the process. I mean, obviously, we were able to go to Washington, D.C. and be a part of the Citizens for Human Space Exploration group. But there have been a lot of groups all over the country that have really made this legislation possible. Mm -hmm. Well, there has. But, you know, it's, you know, you talk about the process. The process is a little bit different this year. It's kind of strange. Uh, it's very unusual for the Senate to, to have a, a reauthorization bill before the House does. Typically, the House will do theirs. Then the Senate will do theirs. Then they'll get together and do a compromise. But it's, so it's unusual for it, to, for it to happen like this. But I will say that, that uh, the Senate taking the lead on this has really made it easier for the House to come up with their legislation. We're hoping that, uh, that both pieces of legislation is reflective of each other so there will not be any kind of a conference that they may have to go, in, go into. That's the biggest thing when um, people that work over NASA talk to me and say, can you ask him this one question? The one question is when. When is this all going to go through? What does the process, where does that go from here? Well, you know, if, if you would have asked me that question a week ago, I would have told you that the bill would not pass this year. Uh, if we, what we were looking for was a blueprint, and that blueprint was provided by the Senate. Well, the reality of it is, since we're getting such a great bipartisan support, words coming out of the White House that they're going to support this, there is a chance that it may pass. Uh, if not, we go through continuing resolutions through the, through the election time, which comes in November, and then it'll be passed after that, could be an omnibus bill. But the, the reality of it is we've got it on paper, they agree to it, now you have to get them to vote on it. And we're closer today than I, ever, than I thought we would be. So what would you say advice-wise to the people that are out there watching this today? You're saying, I'm, I'm worried about my job, I'm worried about living here in Bay Area, Houston. Um, what can you tell them? I would tell them to keep their faith. I would say, don't panic. Uh, I know you're concerned. There will be some layoffs, uh, but don't panic. Uh, we're going we're gonna to save this thing, and, and, and things are going to be go back to normal again in the next few months. And one more thing, we're actually going to help you guys out and get the word out. And so any new information that does come through there, I know that you're going to let us know, and then we can let everybody else know as well. Absolutely. You'll be the first. All I can right. assure you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Bob. Okay.